Hey YouTube, this is an exciting video for me. A lot of people have been asking me to deep dive into Colorado and talk about them on videos. I get it constantly in my comment section, um, in my DMs, and I try to talk about all the other teams. But this morning on Twitter, a Colorado fan down here, his name is Rum Drinker. Shout out to the Rum Drinker. He said Colorado will make a bowl game. I don't think that that's a crazy exclamation by any means. You make a bowl game if you have six wins. Um, if you have five wins, you have to have one of the top APRs in America. No, Colorado's not Rice. They're not going to get the five-win Minnesota Rice uh, bowl game. But they got to get win six games and they're in. Now, do I think that's possible? I think it's very possible. I think it's very plausible. Um, I'm not one to talk about conference championships going undefeated, college football playoffs, Heisman trophies, none of that shit. I'm very realistic. I assess every single team in America. I look at them. They're all great. Everybody's improved this offseason with the exception of maybe two or three teams. So when I look at Colorado, when I hear a fan say they're making a bowl game, I want to say let's deep dive into who they added to this team because they added 24 players with bowl game experience. Okay. Bowl game experience. They've added 40 players. 24 have been to a bowl game. 24 have gone through the extra weeks of practice. 24 have done the additional development and going through the process and spending the whole week at a foreign place. Like, it's pretty cool, man. Shout out to all 24. So I want to talk about the list. I'm going to start from the bottom on the way up. Shout out to Zach Owens. Just transferred in from Clemson. Clemson went to the Gator Bowl. He didn't play in the game, but he got the experience of preparing for a bowl game. Peyton Kirkland leaving Texas. They went to the playoffs. He didn't get to play. But he was getting ready for the game. Sam Hart at Ohio State for three years now. Never been in a bowl game. Never played in one. But he's been to many. Terrell Timmons Jr., NC State, the Mayo Bowl. This is two years ago. Didn't get to play in it, but he got prepared for the bowl game. Keaton Wade watching his brother start a game. But he's never played in the bowl game. He actually played pretty good amount last year, but I think he left before the bowl game, so he's never played in a bowl game. Congratulations. Torin Carter, Arkansas, didn't play in the Outback Bowl. think he had injuries in 2020, 2021. One, one year he redshirted, one year he was injured, didn't play. Oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, Yukari Walker was a backup during the Myrtle Beach Bowl, did not play in it out at UConn. That was two years ago. Khalil Benson, Indiana, Gator and Outback Bowl, did not play in those games. Um... Maybe I was talking about his injuries. Doubt it. Justin Mayers, UTEP, had one shot to play in a bowl game, didn't get to play in it. Uh, they played for the New Mexico Bowl. Ray Ray Buell, Rayon, Rayon Buell, I say Ray Ray. Uh, Ohio, Myrtle Beach Bowl, he made a tackle. That man's bringing a ton of experience to this defensive line. You better ask somebody. Preston Hodge did not get to play in the bowl game against Oregon this year, but the year before, Boca Raton, Liberty, he was in that joint, made two tackles. Tafik Thomas, Louisville, the Fenway Bowl. This was not last year, but the year before. Congratulations, two tackles to him. DJ McKinney, Texas Bowl, two tackles. Shout out to Texas A&M. They felt his wrath. That man got some playing time in a bowl game. Quincy Wiggins, LSU Citrus Bowl. Two tackles. Colton Hood, no stats all season long. They finally let him play in a bowl game. I'm under the impression he played in the Music City Bowl three tackles. Uh, they were just trying to keep him on the roster, letting him do those tackles. They didn't really want him. It is what it is. LeJounte Wester has a long career of playing college football. Bowl game experience, only the Montgomery Bowl. And it was a while ago. Back then he was a, you know, a role player. Three receptions, 19 yards, no touchdowns. Nakai Hill Green, back when he played for Michigan, not Charlotte, Michigan, he was in a couple of bowl games. I believe it was the college football playoffs. And uh, maybe it was. Was it the college football playoffs? It could have been. Maybe I'm tripping, bro. That could be a typo. But he had four tackles. Just letting you know. Uh, I don't think it was the playoffs. Huh. Destin Wade started that Music City Bowl. Everybody knows about it. They went out there and got shut out by Iowa. He played a terrible game. It was so bad they didn't let him play the next year. True story. 98 yards passing was pretty atrocious. Uh, the block bully, right? And Wonkwu, I want to say his last name right. I say it wrong, bro. I'm sorry. I don't know these names. Chidozi, that's all it is to it. Played at Houston, multiple bowl games, three tackles total, two in one and one in the other. Shout out to him. Tyler Johnson did start the Alamo Bowl back when he was at Texas. Right guard, over 30 plays, no sacks given up, no pressures. Played his ass off. Shout out to him. Ty, uh, he also played in a conference championship game, but that's not a bowl game. Go figure. Dion Hayes, out of pit, played in multiple bowl games in his career. 
Got four tackles and half a sack. Shout out to him. Now we're getting to the good guys. Dallin Hayden, running back, Ohio State. Played in college football playoffs. Nine carries, 43 yards. B.J. Green, Arizona State. Played in Las Vegas Bowl. Two sacks in that bowl game. It says two tackles, two sacks, two sacks. Go watch it. Uh, and then Rashad Amos in the rain. When no one else could play, he could. 33 yards or 33 carries, 180 yards and a touchdown. Shout out to him. That's the 24 guys they're bringing in with bowl game experience. Get at me. Colorado's going to a bowl game. Your friends don't know, but Rico knows. Peace, y'all. Hey, shout out to Brian Lewis down here. Is it Brandon? Brandon Lewis. Brandon Lewis, Nevada's finest. I said, Brian, I apologize. Brandon, do your thing, bro. 